everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome to the Seven Deadly Sins Ultimate Mod Pack with me. And yes, we're bringing back Seven Deadly Sins to the channel, which I'm actually quite thrilled about, because I quite like Seven Deadly Sins. In the last season's last series, the first time I attempted this, it was fun. I actually enjoyed it, but it got kind of derailed because of stuff with me and Zaro and stuff. And yeah, it was kind of like a team series, so that ended well. Um... But you know, this one, this one I'm calling it basically Ultimate Mod Pack because I'm happy because we've actually got a 7 Deadly Sins proper mod this time. And not just that, the mod get updated so it actually includes things for all 7 of the Sins. So, yeah, kinda thrilled about that. And this is going to be an interesting series, I reckon. So, uh, yeah, basically, shoved together a bunch of mods, made it brutal, as I normally do. Um, Seven Deadly Sins in a nutshell, powers, magic, demons, monsters, fighting... Really strong people. Yeah, that's sort of how this series rolls. Also, I'm going to start breaking wood. So, yeah, basically I shoved together a lot of mods that kind of fit those bills. And then I did in, like, increased mobs and epic siege. Because I always do, don't I? I always add them in nowadays to make the series a bit more interesting. <laughs> I don't know, I just really like fighting for some reason. It's, it's fun, I suppose. But, yeah, so... Uh, this is going to be a semi-public series, like uh, like the last one was. Like a lot of my series, I've not been doing as many semi-public recently, have I? I've been doing other stuff, haven't I? So no, this one's a semi-public, which means, yeah, as normal for every 100 likes on the video, I'll add a person onto the server. So leave a like on your in-game name down below for the chance to get on. Or if you want to just skip that and just be guaranteed to get on, become a member of the channel. Because members just instantly get on, because, well, you're supporting the channel, so I suppose it's something else, something to pay your back, isn't it? But yeah, um, so yeah, if you're a member, just let us know your in-game name along with the fact you're a member, and I can put you on. Although, I will point out, if you try and pretend you're a member when you're not, you'll just get banned from the comment section, because that's not cool, is it? Trying to pretend you're someone you're not. But yeah, so, um, this pack, since the last time I did this, there's been a bunch more mods that have come out, a bunch more mods that have interested me. There's been a bunch more possible power thingies that have popped up, and... Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes. Also, can I just check something? Okay, this is odd. Why is Monk Mod not here? What the buggery? I was just thinking there, like, I, br I just broke stuff. Why is Monk Mod not here? Oh. Oh, that's why. Um, hold on. Okay, and we're back. And yeah, okay, Monk Mod I accidentally didn't put in. Uh, yeah, that was a mistake. Actually, I've got an old config for it that Inmo made up for us, because... Yeah, basically, Immo, when we were doing Ruby Resurrection, Immo wanted Monk Mod in, and I'm like, but Monk Mod doesn't really suit it, so he's like, hey, it's fine, I'll just edit it. So I'm like, alright, fine, if you edit the config for it so it's suitable, I'll add it in. He went and edited it, did it, I added it in. So I took the config for that, thinking, yeah, okay, that works for uh, Seven Deadly Sins as well, because it removes the, I think it removes things like Fly and Water Walk and stuff, which isn't something everyone should get. And, yeah, basically... Makes it more simple. I did the config in and forgot to add the bloody mod itself in, so it's fine. It's in now. That's all sorted. Also, just gonna break this just so we've got some armoring. But yeah, so anyway, I should probably go over this pack then, so I don't like you know miss anything else, and so people can recommend any mods for us to. Right. So yeah, I, if you're new to this, by the way, semi public series basically means I waitlist people. It means not everyone can just get on when they like. Um, and let tell your waitlist and then you can go on whenever you like. And assuming the server's up. But, yeah, it also means that episode one, I won't put out the IP or the mod pack just because I want to take time to make sure everything works properly and I can make any changes and stuff before people start getting on. So, yeah, basically, I'll just go, I'll have a quick go over the mod pack and people can suggest any other mods they think that should get added in. So, let's, let's see. So, in this pack, we've got dynamic sword skills, additional structures, ancient warfare, because things are interesting with that. Always, also, it's a good way to get resources. Uh, bubbles, better animals. That's an interesting one. It makes cows look like actual cows. It's really weird. Uh, better builders ones. Uh, Batania. Fairy wings and stuff are in that. Carry on, chisel, chisel and bits. That's just for extra design bits. Uh, chunk, animation, uh, animator. Coffee shop, because coffee's... Coffee just exists everywhere, doesn't it? Probably. Cosmetic armor, custom NPCs. Uh, medieval dark roleplay thingy. Enchanting plus, ender compass, epic siege. Extra bit manipulation, which is just editing more block bits. Uh, fence jumper, Mr. Crayfish furniture mod, Gear of Gaia. Uh, we've got Harvest, we've got Heroic expan Heroes expansion, which we need, so we can have the Seven Deadly Sins add-on in, which we do have in. 
We've got heroic armory for a bunch of cool weapons. We've got ice and fire, improvable skills, increased mobs, inventory pets, because spirits, demons, powers, bits, they, they work for this sort of, I guess, so go for it. Uh, iron backpacks, we've got uh, loot bags, we've got Legrican's mobs complete, which basically adds in lots of demons. It also adds in the demon factor, so later on you can control and tame the demons if you want to be part of the demon clan. Also means you can kill technically them and pick up their items and use them, like the dark fire orbs and stuff, and that would technically be demon techniques. So, I don't know, sorry it works for 7 Deadly Sins better than most series. Uh, Minecraft comes alive, bunk mod, better furnaces, more player models, more faces. Uh, Mousy's Mobs mod, which I really like in this because it basically adds in sunshine, which I definitely have want, maybe have a, want to have a look at. Uh, we've got Natura, we've got Open Blocks, we've got Secret Rooms, Simple T, Simple T, sorry, Speedster Heroes, so if you want your magic to be speeds, that's a thing. Uh, we've got Tinker's Construct, we've got Twilight Forest, Vampirism, because vampires exist in Seven Daily Sins world, apparently, even though they're not really ever played much of a major role, but they're there. We've got waste stones, we've got world edit, and your cutesy mobs mod, so things look like girls and stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much the pack. So, yeah, as normal, if anyone's got any suggestions for any other things they want to see added in, feel free to put them down below in the comments, and possibly I'll add them in. Now, one thing I'm going to do, this is the Seven Deadly Sins series, also, this is how the, the Better Animals mod makes cows look. They now look like the shape of actual cows. <laughs> I don't know, this is ridiculous, but it's like, oh, it's not ridiculous, it actually makes sense. But, like, it's ridiculous because we're so used to the Minecraft cows. They just look insane like this, don't they? They look close to the horses. But, you know, that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to roll with this. This is, this is, this is all good. Right, so, since the Seven of the Sins pack, the Seven of the Sins mod itself, I won't be putting in the actual mod pack. You have to download it because if it updates, which it seems to get updated sort of on the regular, um, it's better you just go to the site and download that separate. Also... A lot of people know this by now, but in case you don't, also I spotted this village over here. Let's have a little pop over and hope that the weird lady things aren't here. Uh, but yeah, so the Seven Deadly Sins mod itself, it does not go in the actual mod pack. It goes in the dot, well, it goes in the dot Minecraft folder under uh, add on packs folder is what you need for it. So yeah, it's slightly different. It's not too complicated, but it's slightly different. Ow! Oh god! Bad, 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 bad. Where the hell did that- Oh yeah! I forgot they can move through blocks now! Oh, Jesus! Okay, wait. Is there any actual food in this place? Also, also that's bad! Also, all these things are bad! They're not coming for me, though. This is fine. Right. Hold on. Problems. Problems! Banshees can move through blocks now because they're spirity ghosty people. That's not good. Ow. Oh, uh, where is me? Oh, God. <laughs> Jump. Ow. <laughs> oh, bad, 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 bad. It's potatoes. That's not what I need. I came down here open for carrots. Damn it. Right. Problems. All the problems. All right. That bloody thing's not noticed me. It's off killing other things. Ow. More potatoes! Oh my god! We stumbled across. The, ah! We've stumbled across a place that really likes potatoes, apparently. Not helpful to me, they only give me half! I think you, you're about your friends with me, this is fine. Whatever, I'll devour them, it's worth it. Oh good, the things are going for other things. Alright, it's good, just leave me alone then. That's. Yes, this will work fine. Right, you're friendly, right? Yeah, you are good. I have no way of getting up here properly. Oh dear. All right, let's let's pull our way up here then. They are all dear. All right, yeah. So uh, you have to get the Seven Daily Sins mod separate, basically. But then it goes in the, the add-ons pack folder that goes in the dot Minecraft folder next to like configs, mods, uh, crash reports and stuff. So yeah, I've, I've went through I've went through this a bunch of times before. It's just yeah, I feel like I should probably mention it each time because. People tend to either forget or tend to not know how it works because they're new or something. But yeah. So, link could be down down below. Well, not one. Uh, next episode, link will be down below to the mod pack, the Seven Deadly Sins mod, and the IP and whatnot. Until then, we'll see what we need to do. To, uh, we'll see if we need to make any changes to the pack first before we commit to anything, eh? Sounds like a plan. Right, mobs are getting distracted by people. This is fine. I'm just going to use this opportunity to just get stuff because, yeah, I feel like I'll die otherwise. Oh, yeah, but wait, they're fighting with the vampires as well. The demons and vampires are fighting good. 
That saves me the hassle then. Awesome. Right, now. Seven deadly sins as well. So, seven deadly sins people get ridiculously strong. Cool. But one thing that always holds true to them is they pretty much always only have one magic. Like, as their magic. Like, there are some techniques, depending on their uh, race, that they can, like, do things. They can, like, have certain things different. Like... Uh, the, the, the demons, for example, can use demon clan techniques. Um, giants are connected to the earth and stuff, so they tend to be able to control the earth and use things like the iron skin ability and stuff. That tends to not be magic so much. Like, it's just, it's magic for giants or something, but it's all giants get it. And also, what else is there? I think fairies, well, fairies can always just fly and stuff. That always tends to be a thing. I think there's other stuff with fairies as well, but I forget. Whatever. Anyway, though, um... When it comes down to it, that means everyone will only have one magic. That'll be how it's working. So, it doesn't mean you just take whatever you want and start doing whatever you want. No. Like, if you're going a certain clan, sure, it means you'll be able to do certain other things. Like, you know, if you're a fairy and you get fairy wings, fair enough. If you're a demon and you want to use the demon orb things that you that drop from the demons, fair enough. But, yeah, it, do, it doesn't just mean you can do use everything if you feel like it. No, no, no. We've never worked like that. We've never worked it as you can just do whatever the hell you want. In series lists. I always try to like make it make a bit more sense. We'll see how well that works this time. Oh dear. Okay, you're not you're not as, because you're a ghosty ghost and you're like Yeah, you're floating around, but you're a lot slower because of it. Banshees used to be ter Oh god, they're still terrifying! Banshees used to be terrifying. They used to be dead 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 dead. No, they're still terrifying. They're still horrible. Okay, we need to run now, I think. Yes, yes we do. Right, so, I haven't thought about what I want my magic to be. I haven't thought about any of that stuff yet. I haven't even thought about exactly what I'm going to be, precisely. Because, uh, I mean, giants are sort of out of the question, because you don't really have any giant things, really. I mean, okay, there is Diane's, but Diane's thing doesn't let you change size. So unless I put, like, the Attack on Titan mod in, then it wouldn't really work. But even then, it's like Attack on Titan would change how you look at it. God above, vampire! Go away, you eat my hunger. You're horrible. That's a spooky as well. What the hell is that over there? I don't know. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm not really playing at the top of my game today, am I? I'm really. Oh god, I don't know what that spiky thing is. I don't like it though. I don't like it though. We're just gonna ignore it. Da 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 da. That zombie's not very perceptive. What the hell? That zombie's still not caring about me, also's Minotaur is chasing me now. Oh dear. Wait, where are we? Why are the mountains so weird in this pack? Oh wait, we've came back to here again. The hell? Yeah, I've came back to my death point. Oops, I didn't even mean to do that. I just ended up running here. Well, I'll do what I need to do to survive. Ow. Oh god, that's bad. I'm gonna die again. No! Wait, why is it not... Ow. I wanted that meat there. Wait. I have epic siege in, right? Like... Those cows never went for me when I hit them. Oh, I'm so confused. I mean, there's still tons of things out to get me, so I'm not exactly... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm kind of confused. With epic siege, normally everything comes in for you from miles away? Oh, I want. Why are you angry? You're not angry. You're fine. Okay, everything's just fighting each other. Maybe everything's distracted because it's fighting each other. Maybe the Lycrican's mobs aren't affected by it. I don't know. Maybe some other mental reason I can't think of. Pigs! Oh, no! No, it still works! It still works! It still works! Why did the cows not go for me? I don't know. The pigs are, though. I'm pretty sure that cow is getting transformed. Oh dear. Okay, it's time to leave, I think. It's time to leave. I just need to survive the night. Survive the night. Get to daytime. We'll be good, I think. Maybe. Possibly. Also, chickens! Is this how chickens look? I can't hit them because of the grass. Fop. Alright. Okay, yeah. Things are coming for us. They're just being a bit weird. Also, lag there. Okay, there's quite a few vampires in this world I'm noticing. Why is there so many cocking vampires? This is you oh, oh, oh. Vampires are a pain. They drink your blood and they make you hungry. I don't want that. I don't want to be hungry. It's annoying. It's 
really annoying. Also, wait, did I pick Dynamic Treason? I guess it didn't. Or... I thought I had. Apparently I haven't. Oh, well, never mind then. I think still chasing me. Like, can I take a second to eat food? Please. Oh, God. Actually, I was noticing in one point, like, the higher-up versions, is the thing still broke like this? Like, not broke, but... Is the eating... Uh... Ah, Banshees again. Is the eating thing in that still the, the same way? I don't know. I thought I saw, like, a thing of... I forget what it was. I think someone was playing... It was, I think they were playing on Minecraft Realms or something. It was like they were doing, like, experiments and that. Like, I, guess, I forget who it is, but he did an experiment to see if you could beat all of Minecraft default without ever using a crafting table. Like, I just saw that and thought, this sounds ridiculous. I want to watch it. So, I went and watched it. But the way I was seeing it, their hunger was... Oh, that's dragons. Uh, the way I was seeing it, their hunger wasn't working like the 1.12 version. It's like it went back to the 1.7 version where it recovered over time and stuff. And I always preferred that, but I don't know if that is the situation. I don't know if that is how it would go. Also, is there any way I could sneak in here and, like, open a chest and not get eaten by a dragon? Any chance the dragon... Oh, God. Everything's still after me, though. Oh, this is just annoying. Bugger off. I'm not even getting good food yet. That's the big problem here. Crap food. Okay, Banshee, you need to go. I can't, I can't deal with it. Also, lag much. Hello? I guess because everything's loading? Probably. Bop. I mean, now I put too many dragon things in that in. Ow! Oh, God, you hit hard. Oh, I'm going to die again, aren't I? Oh, Finch, I'll get stronger. I'll get stronger. Don't worry. It's just going to be a pain in the backside to start us off, especially with banshees and stuff flying. Banshees are being an absolute pain in the backside right now because they're just floating about just attacking me randomly, and I don't like it. Oh, my God. Oh, all right, come on, heal. Yeah, that's the problem. The second I start healing, I eat, I eat a bit of my hunger, but I have nothing to like recover my hunger back. Oh, I want to loot the dragon place. Right, I'm going to assume the dragon wouldn't appreciate that, and he's going to kill me if I do it. So let's just go away from here. Let's find somewhere else to be. Seems like a good plan. You, you lads are friendly, right? Like, yeah, you guys hunt vampires and stuff. Yeah, you just go do that. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that either. Ah, oh, there's tons of monsters everywhere. See, I've lost two bars again. That's another four potatoes. Okay, no, I'm stopping for a bit. I need to cook these potatoes. Why did the bloody have to be all potatoes? If they'd had freaking carrots, everything would have been fine. Why am I lagging this much? I must... Yeah, I may have to change some mods about, I reckon. Because, yeah, that... Oh, my God. Yeah, it's daytime. Burn! Burn! Why are you not there? we go. Yeah, apparently I've not... I've got too many things in. I'll have to change this later. I don't know. It's fixed. Kind of. Is it just me loading chunks? It could just be me loading in chunks. I don't know. I need to play with this later. This is why I do it in episode one now and don't release it straight away. Because if, if I released it like this and people started coming on, it'd be terrible. I'd have to change stuff while everyone's on. They have to put the mod packs back out and that's that to folk. And yeah, a bit annoying. No, this is why I do it this way. This is definitely the better way. Do, 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 do episode one. Find out any chinks and stuff as I go. And then... You know, change stuff as I need to. Right, potatoes are cooking. Good, good, good. I swear I put dynamic trees in. Why are dynamic trees not in? What have I done? What have I overlaid it with? What? Do, 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 do. No, I didn't put dynamic trees in. Okay, why did I... Okay, I've made this pack weird. And I'm, like, I'm actually forgetting what I put in it at this point. This is... Clearly I've not been in my right mind when making it. Well, that's one. Whatever then, we'll not have dynamic trees this time. Sure, I'm fine with that. Completely fine with that. Right. Well, I can make I can make more changes to this pack as we go. I mean, it didn't start off laggy, so I'm guessing it's just because things are starting to load in a bunch. I mean, this is on the bigger server anyway, so yeah, we should we should build the cop eventually. Although, hmm, there's a thought. Actually, there is a certain. Yeah, okay, now I've just thought of something. Yeah, there's certain mods that, like, help improve performances on servers. And I've been putting them on things like Ruby and stuff to help out. Yeah, okay, maybe because I didn't add those in either. God, what was I th what was I thinking when I made this pack? 
<laughs> There's so many obvious things I should have added in. It's just like I never added them in. I've just started recording. It's like, oh, okay. Maybe I should have, should have added that in. Okay, no. I'm going to quickly just make a couple of little changes really fast just to see if it helps with this situation. Because the general lag I'm getting, I don't like. So I'm going to see if I can quickly fix it. Okay, we're back. Also, yeah, there's a mod. I think it's called AI Improvements and Born the Barn. Those two tend to be really good for helping with lagging stuff. So, yeah, pop those in. Then possibly consider removing certain mods later on. Because I just realized, yeah, I've added in Lycricon's mobs along with the Dragon mod. Yeah, I wasn't thinking that one through, was I? Um, <laughs> uh, One adds in tons and tons of mobs that spawn everywhere. The other one adds in really high detail mobs. But they tend to cause more lag because they're really high detail. The dragons are really cool, but they tend to cause issues if they're in with too many other mobs floating around. So, yeah, um, possibly need to fix the layer. My God, can my hunger please just stop going down? I'm so done with this at this point. Oh, I mean, perhaps get, yeah, I might have to just remove the dragon mod just because, oh, uh, I don't know why I put it in, to be honest. Instinct? I'll put it down to my mad instincts. I don't know. I made this I made this pack like really early in the morning. So like I probably wasn't thinking of my whole mind at the time. <laughs> I just sort of had one of those moments of like, ooh, I fancy doing this. Let's start playing with mods. And then I start playing with mods and start putting them together. And then I'm like, okay, this is fine. Let's go with this. And a while later, I make the pack and put it on the server and stuff. And I'm like, okay, let's go with it. Oh, I do have my mad moments. So I do. But it's fine. It's fine. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I, just, I might have to just remove the dragon mod, but... If I remove that, it should fix a lot of issues, because the dragons tend to cause more lag when they're about. Because, you know, flappity flap, they look cool. What the fu- Oh yeah, of course you're here. Die, quickly! It gave me hunger! Are you kidding me? No! It's one of the very things I'm very much against at this moment. Oh my dearly god. Right, get rid of that poisonous potato. I don't need it. Get rid of that dart. Get rid of that as well. Get rid of that firework star. Get rid of that arrow. We don't need any of those things. We've got a vampirism guide. We've got the world guide to dominate. Don't need it. Your materials. You don't need that either, realistically. Yeah, toss all that. Right. Now, where's the dragon? I think he went off to go fight things, so I should hopefully be good just to let everything here and nab everything and put some armor on stuff. There we are. Grab all the gold and all that. Good, good, good. Yeah, here we go. Get some armor on. Da -da. But right, so I haven't really thought about what magic I want to use in this. Sunshine does seriously make me consider, like it does make me consider just going like the whole Escanor route. But I don't know. <laughs> I'll need. I'll be. Th I'll be thinking about this come the coming episodes. Same with like if I'm actually going like as a sin. Cause I don't know. I'm a very sinful person when it comes to these games. We already know that. And plus, it always tends to come down to certain sins. Some people say wrath, but I don't really see myself as a wrathful person. I see myself more as gluttony. Gluttony or pride? I don't know. It tends to balance between those two for me. But we'll see. We'll see We'll see in the coming days as we do more of this. All right. Let's grab all this gold. I'm going to assume the dragon doesn't make me nabbing the gold, given it's buggered off somewhere. Hi. Can you... Yep, no, you're hitting me. Ah! God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not walking back there. I'll take too long. Teleport. You! Like, because he was standing there for a second, I thought she was stuck. So I thought, hmm, maybe I can take a second to just quickly, you know, eat some food in that. Yeah, no, I was strong. Oh. Wooden sword prop. I've never had one of those before. I'm taking that, whatever that is. I'm having it. All right. And we've got all we can get the dragon chest. Let's gra the, grab the dragon's gold. The dragon's sorted off, so it might be off fighting demons or something. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Either way, we're having all of its things. There we are. But yeah, I'm sure people in the comments will suggest what magic I should go and stuff, but Eskinor's things never looked more tempting. Now that I found the sunshine uh, blessing thing from the masked god guy, I forget the guy's name, uh, from uh, the Malzi's mobs. Yeah, that's epic in itself. Plus, Eskinor has his actual thing, like his outfit that's in this, or at least it should be. No, that's not what it is. Um, actually, I just type in Eskinor. Eska. Wait, Eskinor's glass. Why is it just his glasses? Also, if I, okay, so if I do at NNT. There we go. 
yeah, okay, so Borhat, waitress top, Borhat, waitress bottoms, Borhat, waitress shoes, Eskinor's glasses, Gluttony Bar shirt, Gluttony Bar pants, Gluttony Bar shoes, Gulther's. Is this outfit not in this? I guess this girl's outfit's not actually in this. Why is Gluttony Bar? I don't know. Either way, though. Um, Marilyn's outfit. Wait, what? That's. Flight, energy blasts. That's confusing. Uh, Grizzly, Fox Sin, Lion. Yeah, there we go. Lion Sin of Pride, so he is there. Dragon Sin, Serpent Sin, Gulson. Merlin's one looks different. What the hell? It also says Merlin's outfit. Oh, God! The dragon came back. He was not happy that I was here. Um. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, quickly. Run away! Run away! I want to get to my potatoes. Where are my potatoes? Yeah, Dwarf, do you fancy fighting that dragon, mate? You can deal with it. I, I don't really want to deal with it. Oh, God! No, it's coming for us! I can't run. Flee the scene! He's over there. Okay, just, just keep running. Just keep running. Okay, now, Eskinor's glasses are in this. That seems to be it, though. Along with, like, the his power and uh, Merlin's. But yeah, it says... Gluttony Bar shirt. Is that Merlin's outfit when she was in the bar? That looks like Eskinor's clothes. Are we sure that's not... Uh, it's right after Eskinor's thing. I think that's meant to be Eskinor's clothes. Then that... That says Merlin's outfit, but that's actually her powers. But it might be her outfit as well. I don't know. I've not actually, like, I've not went in creative and just played with this stuff. I just saw, like, the change log saying it was in. I just assumed everything would be fine, because this mod tends to work fine. <laughs> so, I don't know. I've not tried this stuff to see exactly how it goes, but... If I was going to take a guess, okay, Merlin's thing, it's magic-based, it's Merlin. It kind of would go as you would expect for Merlin. Uh, but for Eskinor, I'd imagine he'd get the same kind of power thing as Superman, because Superman's little thing is he gains the power of the sunlight, and as he does it, he gets stronger. Like, his strength goes up, his defense goes up and stuff. I imagine Eskinor would be the same as that, plus maybe some kind of beam thing. I don't know. I don't know. Tempting to try it, though. <laughs> Tempting just to go the full-on Eskinor route. But we'll see. We'll see what we end up doing. Once we're, once we're safe and stuff and can actually consider it. Now, last time I did this, I found a camp and lived there. And that was pretty much me for, like, ever. I just stayed there and didn't want to move. I don't really want to go to a camp this time, but I would like to find somewhere safe-ish and start setting up something. I don't know what, but we'll set something up. Da, da, da. All right, you know what? I'm just going to mark here as cook, and we'll just leave it here, and we'll go. We'll come back to it later. Because, yeah, I don't want to just stand here and wait for our potatoes to cook. So we're just going to go away. We're going to go for a wee walk, try and gather more supplies and stuff as we go. All that jazz. But, yeah, what is this prop, though? You aren't friendly! Why are you not friendly? Props. It's just, it's just like a prop wooden sword. I don't... Why is that there? I don't know. It's so weird. Ow! Why? Oh, it's a bloody skeleton as well. <laughs> oh, why are they all so mean? What did I ever do to them? Ow! Oh, problems. Get out of the way. Ow! Okay, there's a village there. Perfect. Hide inside. I'm getting... Oh, there's several things shooting at me. Okay, this is making a bit more sense now. Yeah, there's lots of things shooting at me. Awesome. I can't... My sprinting seems delayed to me. What's going on? All right, I need to stop and eat, but I need to get into sh uh, into shelter. Otherwise, literally, this skeleton's going to shoot me once and I'll die. So, yeah, let's quickly... That's... Yes, perfect. That building right there will do nicely. Get inside. Get inside. Oh! I found a medieval building. Lovely. I like the medieval buildings. They're nice. They're nice, but above all, they're safe. Can I sit in that? Oh, no. This is a... Wait, what? It's a crafting thing. What is this? I don't know. I don't know what this is, but whatever. Come on, thingy. Heal up. Heal up. What are you? Oh, it's a carpenter's workbench. Oh, cool. I love that. 
Oh, something just made a ghostly noise there. Right, all that. Well, there's vampires outside as well. Beds! May not rest now, there's I'm having that bed, though. You can't stop me taking that. Alright. Yeah, I love these places. These places are really cool. Like, I, I like the medieval thing. Also, can you light that torch? Probably. The carrots. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So carrots in this place, probably. We should probably go find it. Else, oh yeah, I got a book, didn't I? Oh dear. I think somebody just picked a fight with that, right? Wait, hold on. Most of the things have buggered off and died at this point. No, not enough of them though. Right, well, we've got a bed. If we can get to like a high tower or something, we might be able to actually. Spider, it's just a spider. That's a vampire though. Um. Oh, boop, 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 boop. oh, that's what was doing so much damage. It was a Minotaurus with a bow. Yeah, those are hard a wee tad more. So, I was going to say, like, if I got the tower, maybe I could sleep. But, like, there's so many things floating around. I'm not too sure about that little statement. Oh, boop, boop, boop. Up the tower, up the tower. What is that? I don't know. It's a book, though. Um. Yes, okay, we can sleep. Good. Huzzah. Yeah, I don't think this, con this counts as watching the sunrise. Those things can get up to me, right? The spinny blades of death things, I hate them. They're, they're horrible. I'm pretty sure they can get up to me. Also, I'm just checking my inventory quickly. Yeah, I'm going to get more books and leather and stuff. I need to go find cows. To get me started properly. Cows and sheep. More potatoes. But it's fine this time. I see some carrots in there as well. Lovely. Um, yeah, we're just going to toss this down. Huh! Alright, we made it. Good. Grab it. Oh. Oh, God. A farmer. Ow. Run. I'm hungry again. <laughs> I hate the food system in this. All I do is eat. All I do is eat. Also, now I'm lagging. Oh, God. There's too many things in. Yeah, I think the dragon mod needs to go. Oh. Well, I'll remove it later. I'll remove it later. What the hell? Oh, that's cool. Cool sane thing there. All right, we're getting out of here, though. No, we're leaving this village. This village is, is, is doomed already. Might as well just leave. Oh, yeah, boot bags. Those are in. I forgot about those. Loot bags. Yes. What have we got in here? Bugger all. Right. Okay, we, you know what? we don't even need that candle. Get candle later. Dear, oh, dear. What did I just pick up? I got something there. Well, no matter. There's another village. Why is there so many villages? I don't know. Yeah, but villages make those things, the spinny blades of death things spawn in. I don't like those. Alright, they're trying to shoot the bandits. Those, those people can go shoot the bandits. That's fine. We're just going to ignore them. Yeah, blacksmiths. Let's go in here. Wait, no, I didn't say... Oh, yeah, 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 I did say blacksmiths. I'm not going crazy. Orb. Silver saber thing. Yeah, take that. That seems useful. Get that again, hungry again. Oh. I'm, I'm sick of this being hungry thing. Come on, oh, come on, mate. Get you. It doesn't want to come out to play. Oh, wait, that's it. Oh, 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 it's a Nordic village. There's also, like, other stuff there as well. We'll ignore that for now. That is in. Books. Those are useful. Plus, what's upstairs might be useful. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm really glad they can't just hit me through the wall. That'd be really annoying. Yeah, Thor's pants. Those. Yeah, those are good. Let's pop those on. Also, lots of apples. And iron again. Thor's chest plate. Okay, it's the same uh, rating as iron, but whatever, I'll... I prefer wearing it regardless, so we'll put it on. Also, we all need us... I think, yes, I don't know if I'm ever going to craft this thing. Also, the flying ability of it makes no sense. I probably wouldn't use that, but still. Actually, I say the flying ability of it doesn't make sense. It doesn't. But people in Seven Deadly Sins, some of them can literally leap miles. Like, it's not even as ridiculous in Seven Deadly Sins. Some of the Seven Deadly Sins things is just mental. Urgh. Thoughts for later, I suppose. Right, we've gotten more books. Good. I'm going to get some wool while I'm here. 
That'll save me hunting sheep, because, you know, the sheep fight back at this point, so... Yeah, okay, props, sir. You're just not worth keeping at this point. I just I need certain materials, and you're not the material I need, so goodbye. Oh. Come on. How am I not doing it? Ugh. Can barely touch them. Come on, die, die, die. I can't go anywhere until they're dead. I'm gonna keep chasing them otherwise. That one's gone, good. They give you weakness. Stop it. God damn it, thing. There we go. Next. There we are. Come on. Oh, he's right in now. Oh, just get out of here, mate. You're not. You're not loved. You're not wanted. Just move. Right. Uh, what do we not need? We don't need that soul fuel. We do need the will, though. Give me the will. Let him drop a bag. Yeah, they did it. So for the oh. All right. I'll finish getting the will first. Finish getting the will. Then we'll go over there and we'll think about it. Do 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 do. There we go. Right. Hold on. What we got over here? Ow. Pop you down for a second. Iron Warhammer. Sounds cool. Sure. Goodbye, Prop Sword. You're cool, but yeah, no, you're not worth keeping over, you know, the things that are actually useful to me. Right, I need leather at this point. Oops. I swear it wasn't vandalism. It was an accident. T totally as I swung my sword at it. Uh, hold on. I can fix this. It's fine. There we go. It's even better than it was before now. Yeah, okay, so, yeah, it makes sense. It's a, cra it's a crafting place, isn't it? Because it's, you know... They have the workshop in it in there. Awesome! Yeah, this is a pretty good village so far. It's got Nordic things. It's got dark, uh, medieval things. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Thor's boots. I'll have them. I don't know how, like, how much durability Thor's armor's got, but I imagine it's still more than what I currently have, so I'll take it. And more Thor's boots and Stormbreaker's helmet. The uh, helmet? Stormbreaker's thing, alright. So right, toss that armor, take this armor. Thor's armor's gonna be better regardless, this is, I'm as well taking it. What don't I need in my inventory? God damn it. Gunpowder, I'll take, I'll take a torch over gunpowder. Right, where are, where are freaking cows at this point? I need to go kill them. That's not the way out. I need to kill them. I need the leather so I can start building bags and other things. Du -du -du. Maybe we're just not going to see them today. God, there's a lot of green over here. There's also a lot of reds. Okay, there's sheep. Alright, I'll mark here's village because it's quite a good village. It's also next to like a bunch of other villages. I say it's a good village, they're all going to be dead soon. Like, you know, the, the, the lazy people have already came for them, so they're going to die soon anyway, but... Ah, oh, it's a good old village, it had some nice things in it. Right, off we go. Do, do, do. Right, come on, where are the cows? <laughs> there's tons of cows over by spawn, but, you know, there's also tons of things trying to kill me, so I couldn't really stick about there. Plus, you know, I couldn't really kill the cows because they would all murder me in return. Actually, I punched that one. It didn't bother. Okay, here we've got the evil sheep. Yep, okay. We've already got wool, though. Oh, I can never have too much wool. Oh, dear. The sheep look more ter- Sheep look way more terrifying like this. Sheep are- Can you bugger off, mate? Got enough issues to deal with the, th the vampire hunters coming for me as well. I'm not a vampire. I don't think- I don't know if you realize this. I don't drink blood. So what's your problem? Oh, Black hammer thing, whatever that is. Whatever that is is stronger than what I've got there, so I'll take it. Alright. The pigs. Yeah, all the animals look more terrifying than this. Like, they look more like actual animals than the blocky versions do. And they definitely look more creepy. So, you know what? That's fine. That works. That works just fine. Cows! They're fighting with the horse people! I don't know why they're fighting with the horse people, but they are. Which means I can take all their leather. Um, I don't need these. I 
We're not doing as much to the cows. What the hell? There we are. Oh, wait. Because they killed the cows, does that mean they don't drop leather? Probably. Oh, god damn it. Alright, we'll leave them to that. There are more cows. Beautiful. Perfect. Another village. Oh, wait. Is that the same one? No, I think that's another one. Or it's the same one. I don't care either way. Why is there more villages? There's always more villages. Oh. Careful, careful. Seriously, not more. It's just two, really? I'm going to get any leather from it. Oh. They're making this hard for me. They, still, they are. You guys are hiding from me at this point. Oh my god. Well, that looks like a snack over there. Hello? These things are apparently really good for me. What are they doing? Why are they everywhere? And they don't even fight back. I feel bad for them. Oh, they drop leather. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, you lot. But yeah, you need to be sacrificed. They fight back! Oh, it's a bit. It's a mate. It's an alpha one. Oh, ow! Why can't I respawn? Why can't I respawn there? What the hell? It's doing that glitch thing of it respawning. Why? Why is it doing that thing of it glitchy respawning? I don't know. Be the right. Okay, no, the alpha one. That. Yeah. No. Okay. Something is gonna miss then. All right. This is. I've died before. What is different? What is different? I'm wearing Thor's armor. That's different. Huh. Well, we've got a weird glitch going on here. I need to figure this one out. Um, might just have to do the outro now and just try and fix this later, I think. Unless I can... The only thing has changed is I have Thor's outfit on, but I can't... Yeah, I can't do anything right now. Alright, I'm gonna have to, like, try and fix this then. So, yeah, currently we're busted. I will play a bit with this and see what I can do later. I don't know if it's maybe wearing Thor's outfit has caused a glitch. I don't know why it would. The last time this happened was... What caused this last time? It happened in the Super Anime Craft, and I think it was because I had the Titan thing inside me. It's like the Titan stuff um, caused, caused this to happen. I can't remember. Alright, I'll play about this later. But alright, people. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the show. <laughs> Be sure to leave a like if you did. Be sure to comment if you've got any suggestions. Follow mods tagged in. I might take the Dragon Mod out just to help with lag. Because it's still a little bit laggy. It's not too, too bad. But I'd rather it not really be laggy. And as nice as dragons are... If something's going to go, it ain't going to be the demons. It's going to be the dragons. This is seven deadly sins after all. All right. So, need to make a couple of little tweaks to this pack, I think. Just just a few. Just to try and figure out what the hell's going on here. Because I don't I, I don't know what's going on here. This is really weird. All right. Uh, if you want to have a chance to go on the server, leave a like on your in-game name in the comment section down below. If you want to just get on, become a member. If you are a member, let us know your in-game name and that you're a member. I can add you straight on. There'll be no bother. Next time we'll have the mod pack, the link to the Seven Daily Sins mod, and the IP. Alright, people. It's, 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 it's already started. It's already started being a stressful series. It's going to be a stressful series. It's going to be tough. It's, well, getting started is always tough in these ones. But once you start getting powers, it becomes easy. That's why I just want to, I wanted to avoid being like super easy. That's why I added in like, all the mods to make it like super duper annoying to get going. Alright. Anyway, though. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you next time for more of the Seven Daily Sins Ultimate Mod Pack. Goodbye, everybody.